Hello, everyone. So I am delighted to be joined here today by Jenny and Steve Sapseed. And they run a family business called Fresh Start Health in the UK. And the business uses Scanar therapy, which is a frequency based therapy. And we're going to find out all about that. So first of all, thank you for joining me today. Okay, hi. You're welcome. <laughs> And uh, the first question that I ask people before we dive into the conversation about what you do and what is Scanar Therapy is just, just a little bit of background about you, whatever you'd like to share, where you're from, anything like that. And then also what I think is quite inspiring for people is when was your awakening experience, as I call it, or when did you realize that the world is not what we've been told that it is? It seems like I think I've known it all my life, actually. <laughs> um, but obviously, the the bigger awakening came three years ago. Yeah, so we basically just felt something wasn't right, right at the beginning. It was um, everything that we were being told about vaccines and the, uh, the, the disease, let's say, the flus, didn't feel right. And... Um, so we had to question it big time. And um, obviously in the questioning, you do go into the questions of, oh, what do I believe? And, um, you know, where does it, where, where, where does all this stem from? And how did it appear? And then all this stuff about China. Um, and I think uh, we've always known that governments are a bit corrupt. And uh, so we delved and came to <coughs> our conclusions. I think the biggest question is why? And there's many, many answers uh, to that one, which is what we try to address and help as many people as we can over the last two years um, in, in many ways, not just with the, uh, the therapies that we do here at Fresh Start, um, but educate uh, other therapists. Um, we provided a, a space for, should we say, awake people to discuss what's going on, because the only way you're going to learn is to listen to uh, other people's viewpoints uh, and have discussions. And, you know, we learned a lot from that. We held weekly meetings for mm. um, anybody that had questions or um, yeah, we know, about, just to help them out. About 30 people a week uh, would turn up where we would discuss what was going on. Um, the, per the main purpose of those meetings was to um, create action from it, not just sit there discussing it. <clears throat> and, you know, we've implemented quite a few of those discussed actions to help our clients, family uh, and friends and ourselves. And our children. Yeah. Mm. Uh, when you say actions, you mean uh, help, uh, to do with health and reclaiming health? Exactly, yeah. It's simply, it's not always all about money. There's too many uh, solutions being offered on the market, which you can sit there just money-driven completely, where we started... Uh, Obviously, uh, Jen and Kalen, when they were doing the therapies, would uh, uh, discuss approaches uh, you know, with the clients to educate them during uh, the treatment. And then we started producing our own products to, to help people. Um, we've got two other companies. You know, one is a training company where we train other therapists from all over the world how to use the Scanar technology. Um, and the, the other one is, is a business where we produce products, like things like uh, healing blankets, uh, we've had amazing results with. And um, the Scanar technology, we use uh, special gloves that are woven with pure silver fabric. Um, so the, the technology we developed in the healing blanket, we then applied that and had our own gloves manufactured. And all these things enhance the results for our clients. And obviously we use them too. Um, and there's, there's quite a few other products and still more 
we're looking into. But it's <clears throat> very, very easy to slash the price and undercut everybody else because we've got a different purpose. The purpose in Fresh Start Health is to heal people. Uh, and with our, our products, it's in, to enable people to heal themselves affordably. Uh, it's been very rewarding. Well, it sounds fascinating. So, okay. So um, as far as background goes, we don't need to go into your background, but just maybe just to share whereabouts are you based in the UK? So we're based in West Sussex, just outside Chichester. And um, <clears throat> we've just got a small clinic. Uh, so it's just basically locals. Um, uh, some people come from London. L yeah, some people come from London. Uh, we have quite a lot of holiday makers. So they come down, you know, whenever they're down this way, holidaying, then they, um, they can book in. Um, but basically, we treat all ages from um, child to 90s, hundreds. No, 102 is our oldest client. Or was. Was. <laughs> She's cured. But, uh, yeah, I would say cured is, is good. I thought you were passed away. No, cured. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. no. <laughs> it, the, the great thing about the scanner is it can be rapid results. Um, so if, if I got a pound for every time someone said, how many treatments am I going to need? I, I could have retired by now. Mm -hmm. Every person is different. Every body is different. Um, and for something like sciatica, we've had it fixed completely in one treatment, or someone might take seven, three, four, or seven. You just you don't know. The crucial one is the first, the first treatment, so we can, uh, so the client and us can see uh, how their body is responding to the treatment, which is always good. And and if they're ready to to heal as well, so. You know, if you're not ready to heal, sometimes it can take a bit of time for the um, the signals to start working in the body. The body has to prepare itself. Yeah. It's also fascinating because I do hypnotherapy, which is, I'm sure, very different to what we're going to talk about today with the skin art therapy. But what you've just highlighted are the same things with the hypnotherapy, which is, yeah. first of all, it can take one session or it can take several. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it depends on that first session first to kind of gauge where we are. And then third, they have to be ready for it as well. So yeah. the, those yeah. three things you've just mentioned. So let's dive into Skanar therapy then. Uh, Jenny sent me a little bit of information that I could just quickly share that um, it helps to oxygenate and clean the blood. It helps fresh blood get to cells, muscles, and bone, allowing healing to take place. It's Russian technology. And then Jenny mentioned Tesla and Rife. Um, and yeah, let's take it from there. So what is Skanar therapy? So, so um, like we said, it's a Russian-made technology. We can say Russian, but in the 1800s, Tesla was around and he made his first plate, so he, he was the one that um, knew a lot about frequencies, made a plate that people could stand on, and that would come up through the feet and vibrate through the body and um, feed it the frequencies that it needs to rebalance itself. And then Reif also made uh, another machine in the 1930s, um, which was actually far more advanced than even the Skanar. <clears throat> and... Um, it went as deep as healing cancers. Uh, obviously, the pharmaceutical companies didn't like that very much and um, Took it away. swept it under the carpet in a big way and put him away. Uh, and then the 70s came and um, the, the Skanar was um, made. What you've got to think is, is we're having amazing results with the Skanar. But just, just to give you an example, the, the Skanar is uh, licensed or controlled to work between a frequency range. Uh, some models are 14 hertz to 340, and the professional ones go from uh, 0.1 of a hertz up to 500. So that sounds like a wide range, but then when, when you put it into perspective to what Rife, uh, Rife was doing, <clears throat> he was uh, treating and curing everything with you know, 0 0.01 of a hertz and every hertz in between up to 30 million. 
hertz. So if you like, we've got a, a device that is very restricted, but we're still getting staggering Victory. results. Yeah. If we could have a, a wider range of frequencies, uh, it would be through the roof. Oh, it'd be amazing. Yeah. But as, as it goes, the um, everything in the body has a frequency. So all the organs have their own frequencies. Um, the skin has its own frequency. The brain has its own frequency. So when you're connecting the scanar to the body, you're activating all the different frequencies in the body and trying to rebalance everything, getting the fresh blood flow through and um, kind of re reigniting the electrical system of the body because we are all electrical beings mm. basically we well, remember is the, the scanar or the rife uh, technology it's not a miracle healing device it's just using frequencies that trigger the body's own capability to heal itself which yeah. is being blocked by lifestyle so and as we've said you know some people are actually um, you know, they could have had something for about 10 years and you have a few treatments and it's gone and, and people are gobsmacked by that. But then um, you'll have somebody who's got who's had an ailment for, say, you know, three years. And if they're not ready to heal, it's going to take a few sessions before the body starts to wake up and accept the frequencies and rebalance the, the body and the mind. Uh, when you say not ready to heal, what do you mean by not ready to so, heal? State of mind. Yeah, so if they, let, let's just say that they are on, um, you know, quite a few people. If they're in pain, they'll go to the doctor and the doctor will give them one lot of painkillers. That's not working. So then they, the doctor starts to add on more painkillers. <clears throat> the more painkillers people are on, the more the body's actually subduing it's it's sleeping um yeah and being suppressed um that, and that's what the pharmaceutical um painkillers do they just they don't heal anything they block um it. they just block it mm. so when this <clears throat> when we're using the scanner on the body we are having to break through that um layer of pharmaceuticals let's say um to wake the body up so sometimes it can take time to go through the layers of the body and the, the, the detoxing if someone's on a horrendous diet you know they, they smoke a lot drink a lot takeaways processed food the body is absolutely riddled with toxins and obviously so when the you know when the scanner wants to trigger the body's own healing capabilities it needs a clean environment in which to do it so it will start off with uh detoxing so it can do its job fast. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, uh, Jenny mentioned you also do, you work with the, with diet as well and yeah, exercise. So, yeah, and, um, um, I'm a nutritionist and my son is also a nutritionist and a, a personal trainer as well. So, um, yeah, he, he's, he's brilliant <laughs> with his, his advice and um, the stuff that he's learned, you know, over the last three years, where they've all been locked down and, you know, and then um, sort of like um, hindered in a lot of ways for their natural life as, um, you know, he's in, only in his 20s. Um, but he's just put his head down and just learned so much. Just studied for two yeah. years on herbs. And nutrition. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. So the diet comes into the detoxing phase. If somebody comes in and they're heavily medicated, then they need to kind of go through a detoxing phase first before they use the machine? Um, not necessarily, no, because they, they can come in and have their treatment. Not everybody's ready to give up foods and tablets. So let's say if somebody's um, been given, they've got about five different painkillers going through their system, well, a lot of those painkillers are very, very addictive. So you can't just say to them, you need to come off all those painkillers and then have your treatment. So they have their treatment. They start to feel better. The body starts to detox. Um, and then bit by bit, they'll start to feel well and they'll start thinking to themselves, oh, I need to come off those painkillers. Slowly. Slowly. Yeah. Mm. So sometimes they need the help of the doctor to start coming off their painkillers because of the addiction. Or I have had two clients which did it by themselves. 
So what they did is they cut them in half, cut them in quarter, and um, that one of them cut them in half, one of them in, in quarters. The other one just literally threw them away and um, detoxed herself out of them. But she she was quite ill afterwards, but she she's amazing now. She's doing really well. So, um, okay, so you said that all the different parts of the body, they have different frequencies, different organs have different frequencies. I, I suppose they can all be measured, right? So we know what those frequencies are. Yeah, so yes. if you if you go into Chinese philosophies um, and and say um, you, you basically every organ has a frequency, so that is mainly Chinese type philosophies, and they have already been measured. They're already there. They've been on on. I mean, Tesla knew the frequencies. Rife knew the frequencies of um, all the organs. He also knew the frequencies of each cancer. So he measured. Obviously, we're not scientists, so we can't go into um, measuring all of that. But Rife did a lot of it already, um, and he measured each cancer. And that's how he was able to come up with the hertz, or the frequency that literally um, killed the cancer in the body. Yeah, another example Rife was doing was parasites. Mm. You know, we all have parasites from the day we're born. But they, they get bigger, we get new ones introduced, uh, and they're really bad. But rife, there is no one magic frequency that er eradicates all the parasites. It's a different frequency for each parasite. So it's a complex thing. The guy was amazing. Lot. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, ju I'm just, I mean, I believe everything you're saying i'm just wondering <laughs> that people that might be watching this and wondering if there's any kind of modern science to back up what you're doing um the frequencies can they also be measured today with modern technology as well yeah Is yeah well, as a test we um we connected a scanner up to a, uh, an oscilloscope um that, that we had to buy an old one because obviously modern uh, digital oscilloscopes can be messed with. So we off of eBay, we had to buy a good old fashioned traditional oscilloscope. And uh, I can, I can send you later the, the video I recorded on the screen. It's absolutely fascinating. As the scanner goes through all its frequencies, you can, you can watch it change uh, quite dramatically. Yeah, yeah. If you send me that, and I'll somehow squeeze that into this interview as well, so people can see it. Um, okay, so so then what does it look like? So somebody comes in, they say, "Look, I'm not feeling well." Whatever these symptoms are, whatever the, you know, whatever the reason, uh, what would be the the process that they would go through, and what what would it be like to actually have this skin our therapy? So um, we advertise ourselves as um, scanar massage or um, pain mm -hmm. relief mainly um, because we don't like to sort of just promote the fact that we only do massage. Um, we just, we like people to know that it is a pain relief. So when they come in, <clears throat> very few of them will, will come in and say, um, I'm not having any electrical stuff on me, <laughs> but yet a lot of them also know about the um, the TENS machine. So there'll be somewhere they're frightened of the electrical, and then there's others which know about the TENS machine and feel comfortable with that vibration. So when you're using the scanner, um, a few of them will say, um, oh, that feels like TENS. And um, but it's absolutely so different because mm. basically tens is a pain blocker, whereas the scanner goes deep into relieving really? pain and healing okay. the pain. Mm. Yeah. So um, when they come in, I just get them. It's, we've got really nice atmosphere in here, um, and um, we just get them to fill out their form and then get them in, and they're nice and comfortable with the music. And then we start off by doing a thing called a spine cleanse. So the spine cleanse, you, when you, you think about the spine, it goes direct to the brain and it also goes right down to the coccyx and everything about the spine is about the whole body. So I, my son and I always start by doing a cleanse on the spine and we use lots of different frequencies to go through it. So by the time they've been through the spine cleanse, their whole body's relaxed. And, and then awake. you go and yeah and and, and awake. awake and um the muscles start to relax they start to relax 
Um, and then we dose um, in Chinese philosophy, basically you, you, we dose through the bladder meridian, which runs alongside the spine. And there's two lines for the bladder meridian. Um, and, then, and that is a massive bit of the, uh, the immune system. So you're doing the spine cleanse and then you do your bladder meridian and you've relaxed a lot of the body by then. And the brain is just picking up these really nice relaxing frequencies. Yeah, the, the body has a memory. Um, a bit like our, our memories, really. In the fact, you, <clears throat> you, people always remember the bad things, not the good things. So the body holds on to those bad memories. Traumas. The traumas, yeah. yeah. So to, to simply... To simplify the terminology for that spinal cleanse, all the messages come from the brain and they travel down the, the spinal cord. And then from there, they go out to the different organs, different parts of the body. Um, so someone comes in in uh, a chronic state, um, their, their pathways are blocked with those memories. So when you do the spinal cleanse, you're running the scanner backwards and forwards across the spine, which is... So you're disrupting the signal. So it's like when you get a problem with your computer, I can't fix it, I can't fix it, reboot it. Mm. It's the same thing. By disrupting that signal across the spine at the start of a treatment, it's like rebooting the body um, and eliminating or stopping or eliminating its memory of those, those bad things, enabling the scanner and the therapist to continue forward and have the results. So the, the scanar signal goes right through to the fascia and the fascia is basically um, the, let's say the web that holds traumas in, within the body. Um, so you're going, not only going through say the spine, the bladder meridians, you're also going right through to the fascia um, and then releasing old traumas over time. So that's not to say, it's quite, quite a frightening thing when people think, oh, I'm, I'm, I, I don't want any of my traumas released because it's a frightening thing to release trauma. So the scanner doesn't necessarily make you release them there and then. Sometimes you, you're, you're going through the whole treatment process and then they'll go home and have a cry or they'll just immediately feel like everything's been released without having to have an emotion to go with mm. it. Um, uh, I, uh, I've had a lady who released a lot of her traumas in one session. Um, it all came out with laughter. So trauma, releasing trauma is laughter, crying, um, holding the breath, you know, um, holding tight. Um, she released all of that in one session. And um, so necessarily, or potentially, she won't need to release any more on any further sessions. But all that trauma that she was holding was literally making her muscles so tight that it makes it very difficult to move through your life without feeling tight, angry or frustrated or, or in pain. Yeah. Or in pain. Trauma and stress are the biggest causes of uh, all pains. Mm. Yeah, it sounds very similar to the, to, again, to the, the, the idea and the process of what I do as well, but obviously yeah. using a different modality and different, um, you know, different technique. Um, but yeah. as far as kind of releasing the trauma and letting that go, and then everything else starts to fix itself within the body. Yeah. Do you, have, um, do you go into past lives with your hypnotherapy? I do, but not uh, not initially. It's not the first. The first thing actually is releasing is relaxing someone down into the sub subconscious, and then releasing any negative images, feelings, thoughts, emotions, or sensations. Yeah. So it's that release of the stored energy. Yeah. Um. So yeah, very very similar uh, kind of description of how it's working. Yeah. Uh, what what does it what does the um, the device actually look like? The Scanar device. So we've got two here. One is a professional device, and the other one's a smaller one. So I don't know if you can see that easily there. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so we use a lot of the professional devices. Uh, we also train in the professional and we also train in the home sport device. d which yeah. is a home device so people can buy it for their home um or they can buy it to do the training with as well so it doesn't matter which device you've got it's all got the same frequencies 
Um, just this one, the professional one, has a lot more frequencies going through it, so you can go and settings. Yeah, a lot, lot more settings. They're just you know simple devices, um, <clears throat> but just amazing, absolutely amazing with the uh, the technology in there. Yeah, it's it's quite remarkable the difference. You think you think tens and Scanner were de were developed by the same team of scientists. Um, TENS was developed in 73, as Jen said, as a pain blocker. Uh, and then in 76, they took that technology to this level, which is just an incredible leap as a healing device. Yeah, so we, <clears throat> we did our training quite a few years ago now. And um, we did so many trainings right at the beginning because it just, it was complicated. It was... Um, it was something that you just thought, how on earth am I going to use this in the public? How am I going to remember? And how am I going to remember all the sequences mm. that they were giving? So the, the way they trained just didn't add up to being able to use it out, outside of their training. Um, anyway, so we did the first lot of training three times just to try and understand it. And, um, and then we did extra courses on top of that. And then years later, we just we opened up this clinic. And um, so we used massage, first of all, and a little bit of the scanar just to see what people would have thought about it. And um, we decided not to put our business out as scanar because nobody understands what that is. And nobody knew about it way back then either. Um, so we called ourselves the, eventually pain relief. And then we combined it in our treatments. And then we went into the training. So we, we wrote a training program and we rewrote it so that it made sense to other therapists yeah. so that they could use it in their practice that much easier than what we were taught originally. We, we simplified it yeah. and made it an enjoyable learning process for therapists that at the end of the two days had the skills without the complication so, and that's been our success. Yeah, in, a, in the training, they can literally um, buy a scanner. It'll be the first time of using it. But within two days, they'll know how to use it and how to use it in public within their the clinic, practice. Yeah. And so, so these are just publicly available, these devices. You can just find one and buy one. Unfortunately, less so now. Yeah. Uh, where <clears throat> places like um, you used to find loads of them on eBay and Amazon. Um, but obviously both companies uh, being corrupt, uh, remove them. They ban the sale of them. So we have to import ours direct from Russia. Um, we saw quite a lot of them because um, once someone's had a treatment, they're just blown away. Yeah, so if somebody wants to do the training and they can only afford the Sport D, then it's affordable. You know, our training is affordable, the Sport D is affordable, so it makes it an affordable thing to put into your practice. When it comes to this one, three times the price. it's three times the price because of the amount of frequencies that go through it. Um, but, you know, worth every penny. <laughs> Ours has lasted years, absolutely years. But our goal at the beginning of all this, <clears throat> when we thought about the training, was no one's heard of Scanar. W what is it? Um, and it's been in this country for over 40 years yeah. and it's still unheard of. So we took the mission to educate uh, as many people as possible. That was clients as well as other therapists around the world. You know, guys, you've got to get into this because it's going to enhance your business and heal your clients. Mm -hmm. And we're getting there. We've been running the training now for four, four and a half years. Um, people fly in from all over the world. Yeah, we've got two, three from Greece coming on the next one. So they're flying in from there. I'm fascinated. I want to come visit you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe I will try and see if I can get to uh, get, uh, get down to where you are next week. Yeah, but I don't think I'll have time. Yeah. But I would love to. I'd love to have the experience of um, of having a therapy, you know, having a treatment and then potentially learning it myself. When you say that there's a, so you said it's two days training. So you can't just buy one of the smaller ones and just start running it around your yeah. body and. Yeah, you can. Um, I had a, a man from Scotland. Um, he bought a Scanar device from someone, um, from someone else. 
Um, but he was left high and dry as to how to use it on his own body. And um, this is a big problem. When, when somebody buys a machine, there's no real training. To, I mean, there's instructions in the scanner in the box, but it doesn't really make sense as to how to use it on your own body. Um, so it's a, it's a difficult thing. And, and, you know, I've heard of so many people buy a device and then um, Put it, it just puts it in the drawer mm. and it's never used. And it's the best machine every household I tell you, needs to have one in their drawer to use on their children, on their animals, because you can use it on animals as well. The, the great thing about it is you can't do anything wrong. No. You can't hurt yourself. You can't damage someone. The, the, what we say at the beginning of the training, the difference is go and buy your own, start using it. You will have the results. But once you're trained and you understand how you're using it and you understand how to get everything out of it then the, the results are through the roof <laughs> through the roof and, and i mean we're, we're trying to write a um i'm not saying we're trying actually well, we are well. writing an online home device course so that people can just get get themselves their their training online so they don't have to come in on, and have training once they've bought their machine they can just literally watch the videos on how to use it on themselves because there's nothing out there for that yeah. we we get so many inquiries every week from all over the world oh i can't afford to travel to the uk but i want to train so we're, we're doing a professional yeah so 18 months well. ago we started uh but you know, my background is a photographer and graphic designer so we bought all the video equipment and lighting and uh it's taken time <laughs> hundreds of videos just <laughs> you know but the great thing about the online course is we can put more in it because yeah. we're not restricted to two eight-hour days. And, yeah. and we, we want people trained, so we're not There's charging through the possible. roof prices either. Yeah. We, we just want to see this everywhere. We want to see the scanner. I mean, I, I do think that the future of technology is going to change in a phenomenal way. And I think, you know, when, when I'm, I'm sure a lot of people probably know about the med beds, but those who don't, just go and look it up. And I think that that is the future of frequency. And um, because that is the way to heal is through frequency. We've done it through music, you know, throughout history. I know it's changed quite a lot now, the um, frequencies, because it's coming through radio and things like that. So the frequencies aren't what they say they are. But, you know, you're, you're using frequencies in everything, absolutely everything. So the, tra the training... Um, it's about learning how it works and then also learning how to uh, use it on the body, the different ways to use it for different types of people or, yes, um, yes. Yeah. 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 So you, you can get a, a very sensitive person that comes in and, and they are really sensitive to frequencies and potentially, you know, their, their bodies are probably very sensitive to say 5g or anything like that. Um, you know, or, or any of the other technologies out there that aren't good or, um, you know, for the body. So if you've got some, one, one of those types of people in, then you have to just lower the frequencies a little bit to fit in with their sensitivity. Um, then there's others who like it really, really high, and they like to feel it really, really deep. So then you can heighten it. I think that the biggest difference between uh, the original training that, that we did uh, and what we do is the fact the original Russian training is about this is a complex device. This is how to do the complex protocols. That's it. That's all they teach you. Whereas we put strong emphasis on um, how to understand your client, how to understand the conditions you're being presented with, with your clients, and then how to use the device to tackle those conditions on an individual basis. And that's what people like when they go away after two days, they understand so much more. And like Jen said earlier, they can, they can do Saturday and Sunday here. Monday, they can take it straight into their clinic and start treating their clients with an understanding. We've trained quite a few people around the Chichester area, but that's not taken away the, um, you know, our business. It's just added into the area for people mm. knowing <clears throat> what's out there. Everybody's got a pain. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, 
yeah <laughs> everybody everybody actually even also with my uh, uh you know when i do my sessions you know and and sometimes people say i don't need therapy <laughs> and it's like well we can all do with releasing stress yeah yeah <laughs> we can we can all do with a release of stress it doesn't matter you know who you are um so when people say that they don't need therapy I think it's possibly also because therapy itself, the word has a bit of yeah, a bad yeah. rap. Yeah. Potentially yeah, 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 the wrong yeah, yeah. word, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, everybody has trauma. And it doesn't matter how small or large the trauma, it still sits in the body and it still affects the body. Mm. You know, we, we use life. the scanar all the time, you know, on our clients. Um, and we have, we, we use it on ourselves regularly. You know, even if it comes to, you can use this device with patches so you can just put the patches on your body and, and then just let the scanar run while you're sitting relaxing or even while you're treating clients, actually, <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. How, how long is a treatment? About an hour, an hour. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got another girl that I've trained and she, she does an hour and a half to two hours. And I think too much. sometimes the body can't cope with too much like that. I, I suppose... Some people just, um, you know, they've they've been to the the therapist enough times that they just they can cope. But I do believe that I think you just need to do a good hour, really put some emphasis into that hour, and then let them go off and um, let it sit in the body. It takes around about three days for the body to settle after a scanar treatment, and then um, and then see how they feel afterwards. And, um, a good hour is is good. <laughs> I, I, th my intention was not to keep talking about uh, my uh, hypnosis, but I all, but it's oh, just no, interesting yeah. because I also say it takes about three days for everything yeah. to settle down afterwards. It does. I think three, number three, I think is a, a good one. Even when you, you're you doing a treatment, if you're, um, just to say, if you're doing the spine cleanse, you can just do threes of everything. And um, th three is a magic number. It's a good number. So an hour treatment, and then if uh, if they find that things start coming up, you know, these traumas or whatever start releasing after the treatment and, you know, maybe crying, maybe, um, you know, it, it, does it also happen that sometimes people feel worse before they feel better? Yeah. So um, not with everyone. I mean, I've, I've got um, one girl that I've treated and she says, I don't know what you mean about healing crisis or um emotions after she said i just feel amazing straight away but then yet you know like yesterday i had one that just burst into tears after her treatment and um you know once she just sort of started to come round from the treatment she just felt it, it, she just needed to release those tears so it just depends and then sometimes it takes three days for the body to suddenly think hang on a minute i've just had a release <laughs> and then release it all it's like we were saying <clears throat> earlier about the, the, the scanar signal needs a clean environment to do its job. So the healing phase that Jen was talking about is if someone's very toxic uh, inside, it can trigger that healing phase it's because the scanar signal is telling the body to dump all those toxins. And unfortunately, it can't. there's not a, a, a dial on the side of the neck where you can make it come out slowly. If, it, if the signal decides it's going to dump everything, it does it. But, you know, touch wood, it's, it's quite rare someone gets... Uh, the the scanar is kind to the body, yeah. I think. It's a, yeah. it's a very kind thing. It's, when you put the, the signal through the body, it's like an internal hug to a degree. It's like the body just suddenly thinks, I need this. I, I, I need to feel this on all the levels that it's going through. And, um, and the, the fact that when they, the signal enters the body, it's not just entering through the surface, it's going through, right through. I mean, you can sometimes feel it from walking through the back. You can feel it in the stomach. So it's also activating all the serotonin. It's going through so many layers, and it feels like it's needed in the body when it comes through. And it, and it kind of points out or pick, picks old stuff. So say somebody's coming in for their shoulders to be treated. Um, 
and you, you go over the hips because I don't believe in just going over where the pain is. I want to do the whole body. Um, you go over the hips and suddenly the old trauma of something that happened to them through the hips comes out. So you, the, the, From it, childhood. Yeah, so you say they had a, a, an accident and fell on that hip. The pain from that accident comes to the surface, so it's still sitting in that muscle in the hip, and you can feel it's still there. And then they think, oh, I thought that had gone. I thought I dealt with that. <laughs> and then it's, um, but it's still there. Yeah, it's fascinating. It's really resonating with me, everything you're saying, really. Um, can I ask how much the devices are? Like, how, <laughs> how much will they set people back? Yeah. The, the small one, the Sport D, uh, is 570. Um, and that's what 95% of our students train on. We, we encourage them. Train on that, and when you start getting a return on your treatment so you i.e you can afford a professional one <clears throat> and then the professional ones start um about 1700 and go up to almost 3000 and what you the more you pay the more extra settings you get and that's pounds for people listening pounds yes <laughs> sorry yeah mm -hmm. um, so but worth every penny yeah, no, it sounds it. And, and they uh, last years, unless you drop them, <clears throat> they don't like being dropped. They don't <laughs> bounce. No, <laughs> they're quite, quite fragile casings. So, um, you know, we do try and say to people, put put it in a bum bag if you're going to walk around with it, or if you're treating somebody, make sure it's put safely on the the table. So, um, you know, they just literally come apart and and the circuit board in there. It doesn't like being dropped. Really? But there's many ways to treat with it. You've got, you can see on there, there's the electrodes yeah. um, on the back. So you can have the device in contact with the body or in the side, you can plug in uh, the patches that Jen was talking about earlier or how Jen and Caleb do the treatments is we have uh, cotton gloves, which are interwoven with pure silver and they connect to the device so that the therapist is treating with the hands and bigger advantage is that you can feel how the muscles are responding to the signal that's going in through the hands and then there's other attachments you can plug in each has its own unique properties to achieve what you're trying to achieve mm. and the very deep treatment with the, with the gloves yeah very deep and the attachments all come from russia as well yeah um, no, the gloves we designed and manufactured our, oh, ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> um, we used to get them from. Russia. We used to get them, but the, the devices and the accessories we get them all from the manufacturer, so they're uh, the real thing, if you like. Um, but there, there have been copies. Yeah, so okay. you'll be. I think it was, and that was another one of the reasons they were removed from eBay, is because about eighty percent of them were fake. Wow. You always get someone, don't you? Yeah. So so in Russia the uh so so in Russia they're still making them. It's oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And is it also kind of um, an accepted treatment over in Russia, do you know? Oh, so much so compared to here. I mean the, the paramedics in Russia uh carry them around with them. So like for example, heart attack. If someone has a heart attack, um there's a very strong frequency in the yeah. machine. Um, <clears throat> but basically, you can put it on the, on the, the face. nose, the face. Basically, there's points that can help somebody come round from a heart attack. So that there are there are Skanar hospitals in Russia. That's what we've heard. That's what we've heard. Mm -hmm. um, so, but here um, it's frowned upon. What What about in Europe in general? Is Europe? It, yeah. yeah. Eastern Europe is massive and they their acceptance and knowledge in, in recent years has grown rapidly compared to Western Europe and especially the UK. Who, the, the British are so reserved. Uh, they don't want to, which is why we renamed ourselves, you know, because we marketed ourselves as Skanar therapists and got nowhere. So we dumped the website, the name, everything, rebranded, remarketed as pain relief, 
and you know, the Skanar is just a tool we happen to use. So as soon as the, the British public could relate to pain relief, that was it. They were on board. But if you try and explain the science to them of what they're about to have, a lot of them will go, Ooh, well, I'll go back and see my uh, osteopath or well, whatever. Although the, the, the way that we explain it now mm. comes out much easier. So, And I think people understand better is that we are frequency-based beings. We are electrical beings. We have water in our system. And when you put the, electric, the electrical frequencies through the body, it connects immediately mm. to the electrical frequencies of the body. So you, it's, it kind of, it's, a, it's a food for the body. Yeah, I mean, it, it, so many people are shut down now. It's, um, it's a case of just helping them to, to wake their systems up, whereas it's closed down. My, my comment earlier about people go back to their osteopaths or chiropractors <laughs> was in no way detrimental in the fact we've trained many osteopaths, chiropractors, physios, sports therapists. Doctors. <laughs> doctors, yeah, have all trained in the Skanar to enhance their existing skills. We always say the Skanar works at its best uh, in conjunction with other therapies or skills, yeah. and that, that is proven. Uh, it's beautiful as well because you know like it's it's not about one modality is better than another one it's it's about like i i always say in my ideal world we'd all be sharing our modalities with each other i know yeah, yeah for sure yeah for sure yeah i'd yeah. love it i i mean my dream is to have like a massive place where you've got everything in all under there one roof and and you know and to just feed it out what would you like what what does your body need what does your mind need and 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 just give them what they need in their life uh, i think we're going to get there i've got a such a good feeling for the future on all of this stuff yeah. absolutely amazing i think we're on the tip of the iceberg yeah what, what's going to come around the corner is going to take this and times it a million fold they, they've amazing. dumbed this down i think over no. the years that, that this has been out um, I used to say, why, is it, why are they not pushing this? Why haven't hospitals got this machine? Why have they got the TENS and not this? You know, this has been around um, almost, where, as long. Yeah, and almost as long as the TENS, mm. but yet they're not using it. And, um, you know, it's just something about it feels like it's been dumbed down So, um, because it works. I think it's because it works. It's like, you know, you're hit the hypnotherapy that it won't be pushed by anybody because it, it, it works. It's one of the, I, I, I keep saying, you know, it's one of the, the big, um, you know, missing or ignored modalities because it's yeah. because it is so powerful because yeah. you're going yeah. so deep into the subconscious to do the healing. Yeah. Um, you know, and there are others that are more popular, which are also energy healing, like Reiki, for example, yeah. But hypnosis is the, the least understood. And then also, if you look at uh, how it's been represented, you know, through stage hypnosis and yeah, things badly like that. represented. And it's such yeah. an amazing healer. I mean, I've read books on the, um, you know, hypnosis and how, you know, just delving back. If, you, if you've got a, a phobia of now, just delving back into their childhood, delving back into past life. You know, and then sort of just bringing it forward, and then it just helps you to heal everything, doesn't it? All layers. Yeah, like yeah. So you can go back into, for example, a past life, and you could see yourself drowning, and then you could lose your fear of water, for yeah. example. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I, I think that's a part of us that has been dumbed down as well. They say that, oh, we're not allowed to remember our past lives because it's just trauma, and then we don't want to be carrying trauma in this lifetime. But actually, he, looking at your trauma, bringing it forward helps you to heal that. It's just the same with the scanner. If somebody has had a trauma when they were five years old and then it comes up during their session um, while they're being treated, it's, it's immediately bringing nice. it to the forefront and helping them to heal that deeper layer that was sort of like pushed down into the body. Same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Have you heard of the People's Health Alliance? Because I've been teaming up with them as well. 
Um, don't there, know, so. I'll send you the info after this interview, but they're creating health hubs around the UK and also oh. now globally. And it was what you were just talking about, uh, Jenny, which is that the, these local health hubs, all the different people with the different modalities can go there and then people join the hub. And if, they're, if they've got pain of any kind or trauma or, you know, they need help, then they can speak to those different people mm. and then just find what works for them. Yeah. So I don't know if there's one in your area, but I also know the founder. So I can put you in contact and you could have a chat with her. Amazing. Yes. Or co-founder, I should say, co-founder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Steve's just having a quick look. I'm just having, I just, while we're talking, I just brought the, the site up on the screen. Yeah, yeah. So I've got involved with them. And also, um, any like after we've done this interview, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is, um, uh, you know, my channel, my channel, the channel that I've created, uh, it's got about 26,000 subscribers. And it's not about me. This channel has never been about me. So what I would, uh, what I'm offering everybody that does an interview is um, I'll, I'll send you a kind of just like a little format so that we have the same types of posts, but you can share into that channel, for example, your course. You can share if you write a blog on your website, you can put uh, the latest articles or some information. And uh, the idea moving forward is that these interviews that I'm uh, doing with people that are working to create a better world um, behind the scenes, you know, that are not, I'm also interviewing people that are well-known and famous, but everybody, we can all start just sharing what we're doing into one place. That'd be amazing. Yeah. So we can certainly do that. So, um, it's make change. It's going to be a big change and it's going to be amazing. Yeah. And COVID positive news is going to change into the conscious people's network, which is yeah, basically about no hierarchy and let's just start sharing out there. Yeah. you know, all these amazing things that are going on. Uh, we're, I'm running out of time a little bit, yeah. but I just, you mentioned blankets. How do the other blankets, blankets connected to the, to the, to the machine also? They are. Well, not when, well, we, <laughs> that's interesting you to say that, but it is, it's a st standalone item. It's about the size of a king size duvet. We've been using the Russian version for about 14 years. That is really heavy. It's, 2.75 kilos mm -hmm. in weight and it crinkles because they use foil inside so we've been using those with with good results then we thought there must be a way to make it better so at the time with our weight group we were into this uh emf frequencies and you know the 5g stuff and what are we going to do about it and we bought a load of samples of different qualities of EMF material to see what the protection was. And then we thought, hang on a minute. So long story short, we uh, designed and have manufactured our own blanket, which uses the highest quality uh, EMF material on one side and pure organic bamboo on the other. So there's no nasties. And we call it the three in one blanket because like Jen was saying earlier, when you do a scanar treatment, the signal is carrying on around the body for the next three days. So if you wrap the body in this blanket, the EMF fabric traps that healing signal in the body and allows it to keep working, to keep working for longer. Then the, the EMF fabric works two ways, but then it also stops the harmful frequencies, 5G, 4G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, and dirty electricity, which most people don't know about, um, it blocks that from coming in. And then the third function is we put a, there's a popper on the corner and it comes with a lead and an earthing plug and you can turn it into an earthing blanket as well, all in one and half the cost of the Russian ones. And they've been um, so, studying so well. Yeah. The testimonials are just amazing. Amazing. Really and are. this is all for sale on your site as well. Yeah, we've got a sister site we we put up. Oh yeah, which has got um, how should we put it? More their products to help the people directly. People can buy them. I can send you all the links to to all our sites. Uh, all the technical information is on the website, um, so people can read about it. Um, it was it was slow at start because we were trying to sell a product 
called a healing blanket that people didn't really know what it was. So it got off to a slow start and then word of mouth. Uh, and we've just ordered our second large shipment, which is on a boat, a slow boat from China at the moment, <clears throat> waiting for the next batch. Well, a lot, a lot of people that have been buying it so far have been people that are hypersensitive to all the EMF. Yeah. yeah. So they just wrap themselves up um, to stop that hypersensitivity. So you can go that, that would even just help the body, even if you used it just at night when you're sleeping. For yeah, exactly. Just throw it yeah. over the duvet. Um, it yeah, has had, an amazing we, effect. We've had a baby that was, um, wasn't was sleeping and they were right by a 5G tower. And um, so... We, they were they wrapped the baby up in a, a basically a little cocoon one that we had and um baby started sleeping through the night what are some of the um uh ailments that you that you can uh, that you can testify to uh kind of helping with the skein on how long have you got Rubita? <laughs> <laughs> we can treat anything. not very long <laughs> yeah can treat anything from headaches to fibromyalgia to um i don't i don't push cancers um the reason being is because i don't know uh just have to be a bit more careful with cancers i think um although i did treat one person who had a massive tumor on the side of his right lung he was on chemo he was at the end of his towards the end of the life he wasn't sleeping, he was uncomfortable, he was in pain, and he just wanted to get out of pain. So the tumour was actually huge on the side of his body. And through the frequencies of the scanner, we actually halved the tumour size. And he was able to sleep through the night, he didn't have any more pain, um, until they changed the... Uh, the what do you call it? Medication. The, the medication, basically. And then... He was getting better... So they increased his medication to make him worse. Yeah. But so, that's another story, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a quick so, list here yeah, that's so, on the website. It is a, the list is massive, but a, a quick list, yeah, arthritis, back pain, neck pain, lower back pain, sciatica, general back pain, Bell's palsy, constipation, carpal tunnel, fibromyalgia, amazing results. Um, fractures, frozen shoulder, gout, IBS, knee pain, migraines, headaches. So you can go into thinking, how on earth <clears throat> does it um, do fractures and, and breaks? We've done loads of uh, breaks in people's bodies. And the, the only thing that you can think of with that is they do need everyday treatments um, for about a week. Um, and then you can go to about every three days for a few few sessions um, and then they can go to once a week. And what that does is it accelerates the healing process of the, the break. So mm. some people will be given or oh, you won't be back at work or you won't be back playing your sports for quite a few months. Now you put the skein off through, they'll be back in their sports or work in less than half the time. So it's not a magic it's not magic because it's not an overtime overnight it accelerates the healing yeah it just accelerates it because mm. obviously it's bringing fresh blood fresh oxygen to the area of the break so it needs pushing i had a fracture quite a few years ago now here and uh i was traveling and fell off the top bunk <laughs> and slipped <laughs> so i don't ask any more questions <laughs> yeah no 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 <laughs> was just uh, yeah i was just <laughs> jumping out of the the bunk anyway and the it's obviously it healed itself. I didn't go to a hospital or anything like that. But sometimes when I try to pick things up, it it, it kind of the nerve goes, and I can feel you know it's, it there's a, the kind of a, a sudden shooting pain. Is that the type of thing that it might also be able to yeah. heal? It it will basically just so so the basics of it is is the trauma of falling out the bunk. Even if you didn't cry or you know scream or anything like that, the trauma is sitting in the muscle, in the tendons, in the fascia, mm. and that's what needs releasing. So you just need to release the trauma that was held in that place. And, and, and that's not to say you're going to cry or anything like that. Releasing trauma isn't like that. It's just bringing it to the surface so that you can feel it again. You can feel what's there and then um, know that you can release it with um, in time. The, the, the list is incredible. It, it, repairs damaged nerves as well so someone has surgery 
and they sever with uh, one girl to, to surgery on her spine and she lost control of her bladder because they severed the wrong nerves. So what the scanar does, um, it accelerates the growth of those nerves to join back together again. And within what, a couple of weeks uh, of treatment, she regained control of, uh, of her bladder. It's, it's just staggering. Amazing, Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy oh, is yeah. another one. It's quite a lot of people suffer that where one side of their face falls. It's a bit like having a stroke on one side of your face. So it can just bring that back up. <clears throat> Again, it's not a one-time treatment. It will be just a, a little few, process. But it works. Yeah. But we're not allowed to talk about any of this <laughs> because the device is only licensed for pain relief because they're so scared of it. I was just about to ask you if you've had any problems, um, you know, like, again, <laughs> with my hypnosis, you, you know, you, you, you're not really allowed to say it heals this or it cures that. Right. Uh, and I've also got a friend in um, Amsterdam, in, uh, yeah, in the Netherlands, who uh, he, he's developed a massage technique that can actually remove trauma, uh, uh, tumors in the breast. Oh my wow. God! Amazing, um, and very successful. But the, but he wasn't allowed to uh, oh, say, say that it, it treats cancer. So it's, it's he was basically word of mouth, isn't it? Really, at yeah. the end of it, that's what we need. So people come into us for pain relief. Everything else we call a side effect. Mm -hmm. So it cures this, it cures that. It's just a. I I, I just think um, it's like with everything. If don't claim anything, and we don't claim anything. We don't pe tell people it can do what it needs to do. I mean, I, I've, I've just had um, somebody with slip disc. Um, you know, he had four treatments. But when you imagine slip discs, so they're like, you know, that's the disc that's it's all, all slipped out and it's um, trauma in the spine. That's not going to be a, a quick process to do something like that. But in natural, um, in normal life, without any therapies, it could take up six months to heal something like that. Oh, like me. Yeah, and because um, Steve had it as well years and years ago. That's how we got into Skana years ago. I had two slip discs, two weeks in hospital, and then five and a half months bed rest. That was our answer. And I was self-employed. Um, and then it was when it came back a year later that Jen found... Uh, an advert for this funny Skanar thing. And I said, yeah, I'll try anything. And we were so blown away. That was it. We were off. Wow. So I imagine it's possible, and it's not a promise, but it's possible that when people watch this once it's up, that you might start getting people contacting you. Uh, it would be great if you have, what's the time scale, do you think, for the online course? Mm, we're hoping yeah. um, um, as quick as possible. We've, we haven't got too much more to go. We're our own worst enemy. We get carried away. So we, we make a list. We need to get this together. It, for example, the last week, it's, very well, it's all very well watching videos, but people need documentation to support that afterwards. So I've just uh, designed and put together, so far, I haven't finished, 80 pages of handouts. And it's just, it's, it's, it's snowball and it's a lot of work so to answer your question our aim would to be where are we now beginning of march um during april we want wow. this to go I'm, I'm building the site it's all going to be secure and everything so i'm building the site at the moment getting the content in we've got a little bit of videoing left to do because it's first impressions we've got to get this right and perfect from the outset because we won't get a second go but there's also lots of other online trainings and um and then we've had people coming to us to be retrained because they were left high and dry they didn't understand all the protocols mm. so we've learned a lot from so, yeah, their mistakes we've, so we've put all that we've made sure that our online training isn't going to let people or leave people high and dry and it will make people feel like they've really learned something and they can take the skein art into their therapy and one thing I will say, when we train people, we don't train them and say, you know, good luck, bye. We, we train them and they then become part of the family. We have a, a Telegram group that every student is added to so that students can ask questions to other students. Um, and obviously we're, uh, we're there to uh, monitor it and uh, add uh, our solutions in. And we said to people, you've got a question, we're still here, just 
send me an email or pick up the phone. We've always got time um, to talk to people. And if we haven't, we'll find it yeah. <laughs> somehow. Yeah, exactly. Because that's this communication. Is, it's, it's, you know, when you start going into um, the synchronicities and how things all start falling into place and stuff. Um, you know, through the CPN community, I was talking to this, uh, the same way that I ended up in contact with Jenny. Um, there was a lady I just did an interview with the other day, and she's the only doctor in Mexico that's teaching alternative uh, me modalities to med students wow. in, in uh, the most prestigious med school in Mexico. Whoa. And... Um, and uh, there was something else. There was another example as well. I'm trying to remember now. But basically what you're saying is that you've taken this technology, you've, you've uh, maybe not, not simplified, but you've changed the training exactly. so that, yeah, so that it's more uh, suitable for people today. Uh, for yeah, people it, to understand yeah. and use and feel like it's, they're getting a good treatment as well. It's more understandable. And the techniques that, that Jen has developed, it's so much more effective. So basically, a client with, with our methodologies, a client will need fewer treatments than the, what should we call it, the traditional way. And you've developed your own, or you've, you've taken this other blanket and found that this is, you know, not only as beneficial, but also has more benefits. Yeah. It's just amazing, like meeting people that are, uh, I don't know, at the forefront, you know, of like of this new this new reality that we're moving yeah. into. And so I'm really excited also to just kind of, you know, we'll we'll continue to collaborate. Uh, I'd love yeah. all your links and everything. I'll stick those in the description. Um, and could you just share to the people listening to this now uh, the, 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 your site, main, main website or the main websites that you would direct them to? Yeah, if they're interested, interested in seeing how, you know, what our clinic does, then that's freshstarthealth.co.uk. Uh, if they want to look at the Scanar training, then that is scanartraining.co.uk. Uh, um, obviously, the spelling's rather crucial there. We've got a new website for the online training, which is it's there now for people to register their interest, which is uh, scanaronlinetraining.com. Uh, loads of information and registration. And then the, the last site where we put our, uh, what should we call it, our health products, the stuff that we're producing, like the blanket, the new gloves, and the, this other stuff on there is... Uh, lifestyleforhealth.co.uk and that's the number four lifestyle the number four health.co.uk um, and there's some powerful stuff on that one there's a lot of websites <laughs> yeah they'll all be in the description and for people that are listening scanar is s-c-e-n-a-r correct right. yeah and the phone numbers are on the websites and if they need someone to talk to i'm here Happy to answer questions. I probably won't be because I'm in there. <laughs> I'm in my room. <laughs> Busy with the clients, but I'm I'm producing everything and updating the sites. So, but I'm I'm here to talk to people. Fantastic. Uh, if you've got time, I normally finish with one last question, and I just ask you, what would be your advice for people now that are, you know, you could say awake and aware that uh, are struggling, that are worried, are concerned, fearful, what would your advice for them be? The, sh the short answer is carry on being brave. Hang on in there. The end is literally just around the corner. So confident of that. And when I say the end, we, we feel that it's when the, the big bang, as people refer to it, comes, things are going to get worse substantially worse just for a few weeks until the good starts kicking in by god people aren't going to know they're not going to realize the quality of life that they're going to start having i i i think as well just we just need to um do a lot of breath work so you know if you can find something out mm. there that helps them with the breath work because 
Breathing strong. obviously relaxes the body and um, balances yourself. Um, grounding, so feet on the on the grass. I I, I sometimes do quite long walks barefoot um, in the winter. In the winter, yeah. <laughs> um, sea swimming if you can. You know, I have friends that go sea swimming even all through winter, and um, you know, meditation and and just sort of. Um, go into our words and just realize where our words are and what we're saying to ourselves and try and just sort of flip them around a little bit and um, you know just kind of relax ourselves be in the moment now today not yesterday and not tomorrow because that's what makes us feel a bit more grounded I think um, we've just got to sometimes stop looking outside and start just coming inside a little bit and and be grounded. Yeah, and stop watching mainstream media. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, okay, great. I so really I'm really happy to you, Roberto. Yeah, I'm really happy because you're obviously on the same wavelength, same frequency as I am in a lot, you know, pretty much everything you're saying, I would be saying myself as well. Yeah. Apart from I'd never heard of the Scanar technology before. So honestly, uh, you're, you just absolutely love it. Like I said, I think everybody should have one. So when you're over everyone. to England? Well, I'm coming next week. I'm coming on uh, actually Saturday flying over to Nottingham, but I don't have, a, well, I might rent a car. And Nottingham's a, it's quite a long way. A long it? way away. Five hour drive. My I know. Crazy. Well, that's not so much the issue because I, I was a nomad before the whole <laughs> COVID thing kicked off. We're still nomads. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I kind of still am because, uh, yeah, but yeah, my lifestyle certainly changed. Anyway, my traveling lifestyle changed. It's not as uh, not not the way it was. But um, yeah, traveling is my passion or one of them. But um, yeah, I, I, I really feel like uh, I need to stay in contact and we need to uh, yeah. collaborate and we yep. need to uh, get this message out there. And I want to also uh, try it and potentially even train it, train it, train it, train on it myself. Oh, my God. It'd be amazing. You took that over there. And then, what's your girlfriend do? Uh, she's a she's actually a dance therapist. So she uses oh, wow. music. Wow. Yeah. He uses music for healing. Yeah, yeah amazing. Yeah, the the, uh, the top level scanner um, is called the bio scanner, and that includes music frequencies in there as well. So yeah, I don't know. I do, I do know this kind of whole thing about how music today is not using the right frequency. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know yep. more than that about it. Yeah. So I'm not sure what frequencies the skein I use is when it goes to those music frequencies. I don't know. We haven't seen one. <laughs> but um, but what, what, my, what Lucia, my girlfriend, does is she creates a, um, a journey through the music. So she, gets, she puts the playlist where you're starting off slow and then you go into, you know, deeper rhythms. Um, it's really amazing what she's doing, actually. I love dance. <laughs> we all need to work more together yeah. to achieve yeah. one goal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and well, it's time. It's time. It's time more than anything, you know. Like uh, you know, we, I'm, I'm doing all everything I'm doing. I'm doing on my own, and it's it's just time. But what what we can start doing now, which I think is really powerful, is uh, just start sharing everything into the channel. Simply because you know it, it's got an audience, right? And also it's not about ego you know let's leave the ego behind because there's so many different organizations out there that are trying to do it all on their own or they want everybody to come to them mm. um and then there's there, there's others out there that are all for collaboration and sharing and let's just all work together oh, yeah. i believe in them working together in a big way yeah massively as james said think, earlier we've, we've already trained what five or six other people in, in Chichester in the same town. Mm. Why not? Mm. Our goal when we started this was to expand the knowledge yeah. of Skanar. And there's he pl plenty of people in pain for everybody. Healing people. Yeah. yeah. Everybody deserves a bit of healing, don't they? Yeah. 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 Wow. Amazing. Nice to meet you. 
Yeah, nice to meet you, you too. I've got a client now, so I've got to go as well. Yeah, I need to. I've got a bit of a break, <laughs> and then right. I and then I'll be back uh, onto the screen. Have you, got, have you got his email address? Yeah, uh, I have got it, haven't I, Robito? Uh, yeah, but um, I think you sent me Steve's email. So well, I'll just I'll send me an email saying hello, and then I'll get all the information together and fire it back to you. Yeah, and we can start communicating through the email as well. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you so much for the interview. It was really nice to meet you. Thank you. Take care, okay? All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.